Good enough. Thank you. Like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Welcome to your channel. What I have here is a little pump that I use sometimes, like, uh, actually I've only used it like twice. I bought it whenever the pumps, the tanks down at the house got low, so we could pump the water out of these tanks into the house down there. So what I want to do with this thing is I want to mount it up here somewhere, like that, so I can just plumb it directly into there. For now, this is just temporary, of course. Uh, that's what everybody says on YouTube. But anyway, I just want to mount it here for a while. That way, when we fill up the water jugs over there or anything like that, or the other side of the chickens till I get it plumbed with the water, we have to carry five gallons at a, at a time. And with this thing right here, all we gotta do is run a drop cord up here and plug it up and just pump everything full and use it. And that's a lot better than carrying five gallons of water at a time. So I'm gonna hook this up, I'm gonna mount it somewhere about right in here in the shade that way it'll be kind of in the shade too so well maybe a little further over something like this that way we know it's in the shade something like that and then this water hose here i'll come over here and hook into there and as long as it's above at least that full it'll pump just fine that's the only thing but for now, it'll work just fine. I can still pump down, what, two or 300 gallons of water before I ever need to worry about it. And then this, this right here will still go over there. So anyway, I'm gonna screw. This truly is temporary. I'm not, cause I'm gonna put another tote in here. One thing we do have coming up is I'm gonna do a, a 12 volt, little standalone 12 volt solar system up here. Uh, we got some stuff coming in the mail for that. And that way I can take this over there is basically powered off the solar instead of running drop cord up here from the house, which is solar too, don't get me wrong. But come in handy that way. So basically all I gotta do is take the inlet and screw it right on here. Which goes up to our tanks. Yeah, that goes up to our tanks. And this water hose right here goes around over so we can use it to water the chicken and stuff. Uh, screw it on here. Then we can also use, you know, when we gotta fill our, uh, for now, until we get the gutters up on the greenhouse, we can use this to fill that barrel over on the greenhouse too, just run over and... Yeah. This is not the kind that you can like put a, a nozzle on the end of it. You can't do that, cause this right here just pumps all the time. It, it ain't the kind that'll build pressure and stop, so. Anyway, that's hooked up. All I gotta do now is we'll run a drop cord up here and we'll turn it on, we'll water the garden and all that stuff, but just to make sure everything can work on it. Okay. What I'm gonna do is, this four by fours right here is bowed like a mofo, but it still works. I'm gonna take this back off of here and I'm gonna mount it a little bit lower. We thought about it and I want it kind of as low as I can get it without being on ground. So I'm gonna take it loose and I'm gonna mount it down here. I'm gonna leave it hooked up. Like I said, don't have to be perfect. I just want it back here so we can use it and keep it hooked up. Okay. And something like that's perfect. It's like that. Now it's just here and it's under the overhang out of the weather. Well, they want to 
because now I'm thinking about it, I may want to put it up here, you know, more out of the weather so it can't get rained on. What do you think? Yeah. Let's do that. And putting it right here is about as close to the walls I'm get. That way a little motor won't get too wet. It is hooked up. Okay, that's still hooked up too, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, all we gotta do now is test it. Okay, I turned that on. So we've got water going to the pump. Let's see what it do. What the hell is this cord? Alrighty guys, I highly recommend not holding an extension cord and a running water hose at the same time. Huh? Okay, Chris is going to plug the pump in and we're gonna water the plants. We also planted two watermelon plants in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Best part about this right here, it's 100% on solar, 100% on rain catch. I mean, pretty cool. I mean, it pumps pretty good, but I mean, you can see it's got a good stream to it. They ain't weak stream or nothing. Here's what our stuff looks like. Huh? Go on in here. There's our garlic and some peppers. And there's our potatoes. They're doing really good. Cherry tree, mm, not so much. They're still alive, I mean. Yeah. And then here's some more peppers, which we have a pepper on it. And then here's our tomatoes. They don't look so good. No, not really. Got one baby tomato there on that one. And then got three, four, five of them on that one. Got one, two, three, four, five of them on that one. And there's two more of them. So now our tomatoes ain't doing too good. Oh, and there's our lavender and our dill. We showed you the great vines a little bit when we watered them. And then the cucumbers. And we had a couple watermelon ones right in the middle. Here's the rhubarb. And blueberries. And then the hot peppers, the habaneros. Which they don't seem to be getting that big neither. Best part about this is, as I said, 100% solar powered and 100% rainwater. Then you can live on it. Anyway, guys, if you haven't done so yet, please hit that like and subscribe button. It won't cost you a thing to do it. It'll help our channel out a little bit, and we will catch you on next. There you go. Good job.